Yo guys, uh, today I'm going to be taking out the secondary air pump, the SAP. Uh, I did not know what the hell it was when I bought the car, uh, but after watching some YouTube videos of uh, some weight reduction mods and that kind of crap, uh, I decided I'm going to take it out uh, since they kind of showed what it was when they were removing it. So what it is, I guess it's to something about like, I guess, warming up the cats uh, when you just do a cold start. So from my understanding is that uh, it's really only an emissions thing for cold startups. So it's something that you could probably get away with. Uh, people say it's going to throw a check engine light. I really don't give a crap about that stuff. Uh, maybe when I get my uh, tune, when I supercharge this, maybe it can be flashed to eliminate that. But I'll show you uh, what I'm going to be doing. There, there are parts to delete the like a like a plate to put on. It kind of looks like the EGR, uh, what it reminds me of on the Shelby. It's just a plate uh, you put on that's to the exhaust uh, header, I believe. And I'm not going to buy. I saw some for like 25 bucks. I bought some metal uh, from Home Depot, just like sheet metal. I'm going to use to kind of cut up and make you know my own plate but it's not it's not going to be as thick as uh, what you probably would buy online but I'll let you know if that's going to be a problem so right here this uh, little yellow thing well not yellow golly that silver cap that is what is uh, to your headers see it kind of lo looks like the little oval oblong thing that the EGR is uh, that we're all so familiar with with Mustangs and other imports uh, but that uh, it's tied to the header. Uh, you got some hose which goes to the pump itself. That's it right there um, So that's gonna go bye-bye uh, So it's pretty easy. I think just like two bolts that keep it in place and then you probably have like a uh, Wire that you need to unplug uh, That turns it on and off uh, But the only thing I did not really know what the hell it's to is this uh, little probably vacuum line or something uh, it was attached to this right here, but it just slipped off when I touched it So obviously wasn't getting a very good sill, but kind of following it out. It goes Right over here I don't know if you can see it. Let me put the light above. Uh, you kind of can see it a little bit, but you see that little plug Oh Man, this is horrible. Okay, that's probably the best I'm gonna get it. that little plug that goes to I don't know like this fuel system or something uh, That's what it's tied to so I don't know if it's really needed or not But what I did since that slipped off I just started the car up and nothing really happened So I'm gonna say that it's safe to say that it's really not needed Okay, but I'm just gonna make sure everything's reversible if I do have problems I can put it all back together Okay, we made our own custom plate Fong helped out I had it cut but it looked pretty shitty He brought a grinder to kind of polish it up uh, we took out the pump. It was basically, like I said, the two uh, nuts I had back off. I think they were 13 millimeter. And then you just gotta disconnect the plug. And that was pretty much it. This tubing right here is still open-ended. I had to cap that. But that is pretty much it, guys. Let's start it up and see if we have any check engine lights. So start up, I don't have any check engine light at all. Uh, but these are the lights that I have right now, just a brake pad sensor, e-brake, and the passenger airbag. But I'll keep you guys updated if there's any other problems with the car. Uh, but that is it for this mod. So please subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else I need to do or if there's problems with this, I need to kind of revert back. But that is it. Thanks.